Truly the Lord is among our infirmities and he has carried our sorrows. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, we are in the second week of the season of Easter. And let's all offer this Mass for the whole world in this difficult situation of COVID-19. Let us also pray for the brothers and sisters affected with COVID-19 in a special way. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore ask bless Mary Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of the sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress. In faith we pray, look with compassion on the afflicted. Grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to the health care workers, wisdom to our leaders and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the earth of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the Apostles gave the testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands and our houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet and it was distributed to each as any had need. There was a Levite, a native of Cyprus, Joseph, to whom the apostles 
gave the name Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. He sold a field that belonged to him, then brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. A response, your response, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord is King, He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed, He is girded with strength. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He has established the world, it shall never be moved. Your throne is established from our foe. You are from everlasting. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Your decrees are very sure. Holiness befits your house. O Lord, forevermore. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Do not be astonished that I said to you, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from and where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered him, Are you a teacher of Israel? And yet you do not understand these things. Very truly I tell you, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen. Yet you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except the one who descended from heaven. The son of man. And just as Moses lifted up the servant in the wilderness, so must the son of man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. The gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sins. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, hope we are all doing well. We are doing well here in St. Michael's Basilica, Maramishi. Through the readings of today, God gives us a message for all of us for our reflection. In today's first reading, we have read the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul. Christ has risen indeed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us rejoice and be glad. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The solemnity of Easter is the greatest and the most important celebration in our Catholic Church. We have read and seen in the first week of today the early Christian community how they were. They were of one heart and one soul. They had a strong unity. They had love for one another. They had concern for one another. They prayed for one another. We are in the difficult situation of COVID-19. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Jesus invites you, me and the whole world to believe in his presence, to believe in his power. Jesus will surely save all of us and the whole world from this difficult situation of COVID-19. Let's all have one heart and one soul and let us continue to pray for one another at home. Let us spend more time with our family members and let us spend more time with God through prayer with our family members. Let us ask for His grace and participate in this holy Eucharistic celebration. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, 
For through your goodness we have received the bread we all feed, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offering, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord set the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing peace to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restore our life. Therefore, O the Paschal joy, Every land, every people excels in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angel host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim and say, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of force, heaven and earth full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, I entered willingly into his passion. 
He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sapu ascended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new or eternal covenant which will be poured for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are well worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that part of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. I remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullest of charity, to where Francis our Pope, and Christian our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Danny King, whom you are called from this world to yourself, granted, who was united with your son in a death like this may also be one thing in his resurrection. Lord, We also pray for all the brothers and sisters affected with COVID-19. Lord bless them, test them and heal them. Dear Blessed Mother, pray for them. I remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome down in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and her spouse, Saint Joseph, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced in our life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. So he might be O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we have to say, 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be the name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not at the sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Brothers and sisters, excuse me, I would like to make a small announcement. Uh, we have started the Divine Mercy devotion in our St. Michael's, St. Michael the Archangel Parish. And today we will have the Divine Mercy devotion at 3 p.m. You are all most welcome to participate in this Divine Mercy devotion through YouTube live stream. Thank you. Come to me all who labor and are burdened and I will refresh you, says the Lord. Let us pray. O oh God, from whose hand we have received the medicine of eternal life, grant that through this sacrament we may glory in the fullness of heavenly healing. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's all go in the peace of Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you for watching our YouTube live streaming Mass. God bless and have a good day.